Welcome guys, on today episode we will cover how to combat buffer bloat. Buffer bloat is the undesirable latency that comes from a router or other network equipment that buffering too much data. The common summary is, bloated buffers lead to network crippling latency spikes. In most hotel Wi-Fi network scenarios, we need to avoid this to prevent complaints from customers or even bad reviews from customers. Buffer bloat adalah suatu kondisi jaringan di mana terlalu banyak user yang menjalankan berbagai aplikasi yang boros bandwidth melebihi batas maksimum speed dari ISP yang digunakan, sehingga terjadi pembekakan buffer atau pembekakan antrian traffic yang menyebabkan lonjakan latensi atau biasa diistilahkan internetnya lemot. Pada jaringan Wi-Fi hotel hal ini perlu diantisipasi karena dapat memicu kelumpuhan jaringan secara total dan berpotensi terjadinya ketidakpuasan tamu hotel. The good news is, buffer bloat is now, after four years of research, development and deployment, relatively easy to fix using FQ Codal feature, which fortunately available in open sense. The even better news is that fixing it may solve a lot of the service problems now addressed by bandwidth caps and metering, making the internet faster and less expensive for both users and providers. Kabar baiknya adalah, buffer bloat, sekarang, setelah 4 tahun penelitian, pengembangan, dan penerapan, Relatif mudah diatasi dengan menerapkan fitur FK Codel yang juga tersedia pada OpenSense. Berita yang lebih baik lagi adalah bahwa metode ini dapat menyelesaikan banyak masalah layanan dengan pembatasan bandwidth dan pengukuran, sehingga menjadikan internet lebih cepat dan lebih murah, baik bagi pengguna maupun penyedia layanan. We need to prepare our own data sheet in hand before we start configuring OpenSense. First, we need to identify the speed of our internet that we got from ISP. We can use online tools at speedtest.net and run the test to ensure the exact speed of our internet connection. Then, we need to calculate the value of FQ Codal by using formulas on the screen. Okay guys, without further ado, let's start configuring OpenSense. Now let's create download pipes and upload pipes. Click Firewall on the left menu. Click Shaper. Click Pipes. Now we're going to add download pipes. Click red plus icon to add. Type in the description for our future identification. Make sure enable options are checked. Type in the bandwidth options with the download speed that we have on our datasheet. In my case, it is 150 megabits per second. Change the bandwidth metric options to megabit per second. Click Advanced Mode on the upper side menu. Type 2 on the queues options. On schedule type options, make sure we choose flow queue codal.
make sure we checked on flow Q Codal ECN. Type in the FQ Codal quantum value that we have calculated on datasheet. In my case, it is 450. Click Save. Click Apply. Now we going to add upload pipes. Click red plus icon to add. Type in the description for our future identification. Make sure enable options are checked. Type in the bandwidth option with the upload speed that we have on the datasheet. In my case, it is 100 megabits per second. Change the bandwidth metric options to megabit per second. On schedule type options, make sure we choose flow Q codal. Click Save. Click Apply. Now let's create download queues and upload queues. Click Queues on the top menu. Now we're going to add download queues. Click red plus icon to add. Click advanced mode on the upper side menu. Type in the description for our future identification. On mask option, select destination. Make sure we checked on flow Q codal ECN. Click save. Click apply. Now we're going to add upload queues. Click red plus icon to add. Click advanced mode on the upper side menu. On the pipe option, select upload pipe. On the mask option, select source. Make sure we checked on flow Q codal ECN. Type in the description for our future identification. Click save. Click apply. Now let's create download rule and upload rule. Click rules on the top menu. 
Now we're going to add download rules. Click red plus icon to add. Make sure enable options are checked. Make sure interface options are WAN interface. Make sure protocol options are IP. Make sure source options are any. Make sure SRC port option and destination option are any. Make sure DSD port option are any. Make sure direction option are in. Make sure target option are download queues. Type in the description for our future identification. Click Save. Click Apply. Now we're going to add Upload Rules. Click red plus icon to add. Type in the description for our future identification. Make sure enable options are checked. On sequence option, type 1. Make sure direction option are in. Make sure target options are upload queues. Click save. Click apply. Now our traffic shaping should be working, and your buffer bloat rating should have improved. You should go to waveform.com slash tool slash buffer bloat to test your buffer bloat ratings. Unfortunately, we are unable to put the screen recording of the test result due to the privacy clearance or permission clearance from our previous customers. We have implemented this method for at least 25 hotels since four years ago, and we never had any of complaint call from them up until now 2024. As I'm also curious, and for education's sake, you can write a comment if you find any problem in implementing this method. Okay guys, see you on the next episode, thanks for watching.